So I'm actually showing you an idea that I got at our backstage, which is our leadership. We have fun thing about being a demonstrator is when you go to events, we get to trade cards with each other. So Susan Campfield traded me with this one and I just love the fold on it. And I'm gonna show you how to do this fun fold. You can do it with the, actually anything that you have. So I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it without having to worry about scoring anything. I'm all about just folding without scoring. Now these pieces right here, these are all front pieces. And this is the back piece right here. So two for the front, one for the back. This is for the inside. I do have the dimensions on where you need to score it if you wanna score it. In this one, you cut it four times. So you can decide what four pieces you want, but I'm just showing these are four pieces that would fit in here if that's the way you wanna go. Okay, let me show you how to fold that piece that goes on the inside without having to score. So I'm just gonna fold it one way to itself, just kissing those two ends together. And then you use a bone folder to burnish that down. And then I'm gonna take this and fold it back on itself, back to the center again. And basically you have your fold, you do that on one side and you do that on the other. And you didn't have to measure anything to do that. I mean, you don't have to worry about scoring anything to do that. So this is your center piece, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the actual card. So this is our back piece, but I'm gonna set that aside and do the front piece first. So this is the small piece right here that I'm just gonna lay down like that. I kind of made a frame of what the card is gonna look like. Then the designer series paper that I'm using, I'm just gonna lay it right on that and that will be the front. So I'll put some adhesive right here on this side and I'll go ahead and lay this down. Make sure I have the right dimensions. Okay, there's our front. Now I've already, um, these are just extra pieces if you wanna embellish it a little more. You can, I just wrote, I just um, cut a one inch strip here to put on this side. This is out of that same paper with the nativity set, I just love it. And then I already stamped this, so I'm gonna stick that right there. So this is the front piece of the card. All right, I'm just gonna put that right there. Okay, there's our front of the card, and this is the back. So I'm gonna lay the back down and the front over it, and they should match, okay? So I'm gonna open this up. This is the center. Okay, I could either decide to use these four pieces in here. Let's make sure I've got this folded right. This is the way I want. You want an upside down M or a W, so I want a W. Let me go ahead and adhere these pieces to it. But this is one way you can do the inside, is like the way that Susan Campfield did it. But I wanna show you a designer series paper, but I'm gonna actually show you an easy way to do it if you don't wanna cut all these four pieces out. Because sometimes we wanna do things quick and easy. And this is a good way to use your designer series paper if there is a scene in it, like the nativity paper has a lot of the, the buildings and you know the desert and things like that. So you can stamp on this right here. And this, so when you line it up, you go ahead, put it in the center, but come down to the bottom. This is gonna be, you would hear that 
and then also you would hear this piece. So when it opens up, it looks like, I'm not in hearing it because I'm showing you the, so then it looks like this when you open it up, okay? But let me show you the other way you can do it with just a piece of designer series paper. Now I went ahead and already decorated this piece, okay? So it's all decorated and it's just one piece. The same thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fold this back like that. So there's not an additional piece that you have to worry about. When I designed this, I went ahead and put this down here. So I made sure that I didn't put any of the cutouts or the die cut things, you know, that it was in between the lines. Actually, that little lamby might, might have a fold there up. We'll have to see. So this is not as thick because it's Desire Series paper. They're both great. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put the adhesive right here. And I'm going to actually put this on my back first of the card. So remember, I'm going to line it up at the bottom and in the center. So it's kind of even with the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the adhesive on this piece too. And do the same thing. And just make sure that that's centered. Okay, here we go. Isn't that cool? Let me show you some other ones. I had such fun doing this. So this is one, the Made with Sparkle. So it's got the folder in that. I love how when you use a designer series paper, you have the other side of it here. Okay. Here's one with the winter greetings. Okay. And here, well, what about this? That could be the inside of your car too. So imagine this being the inside. So isn't it pretty with the designer series paper scenes? So yeah, you can use those. Here's another fun one with that new paper we have that's all mine. You can see that sparkle, sparkle. Oh, and I just had to do one with this. Look at that. Shiny, shiny. And this, I haven't decided what I'm going to do in here yet. But I'm just showing you how you can just use your designer series paper. And here's another beautiful nativity one, too. All right. Well, hope you've enjoyed that technique of how to do that card.